Ray and Micah, state police are calling this a death investigation, and they say there's no threat to police or the public. He was hardworking. He was a loving person who treated people with respect and kindness. Trooper Gerald Mason's co-workers often referred to him as the Hulk. He was a solid, strong man. He even ripped his trooper pants during a foot pursuit because of those, those big muscles. An 11-year veteran of the Illinois State Police, Mason was found shot in his squad car on the local lanes of the inbound Dan Ryan at 43rd Street around 1.45 this afternoon. I noticed that there was a state trooper turned diagonal and a couple of people were screaming, and so I stopped. Community activist Gregory Sherman recorded what he saw when Chicago police officers pulled Trooper Mason from his SUV. They transported him out of the state trooper car into an unmarked car and then rushed away from the scene. Illinois State Police say both police officers and civilians helped the trooper. It is certainly um, reassuring and encouraging in this day and age when people can seem very cynical and very indifferent to the pain and suffering of others that uh, so many people step forward to try to uh, render whatever assistance they could in this situation. Mason was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center, where state police say he died from that single gunshot at 2.15 this afternoon. Fellow troopers escorting his body in a procession to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Mason was 36 years old. This is a sad moment. We are hurting. State police have yet to release details about what may have led up to the shooting or the circumstances around it. They tell us this is all still under investigation and they'll release more information when it becomes available. We're live at McCormick Place tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. Thank you, Jenna.